when the freeze came, uh, can you talk a little bit about how how the freeze affected the bio, the snook in, in their biology? How did how the snook were impacted by that cold weather and why, and, and what they're susceptible to when it comes to cold weather events. Okay, like then it goes back, like I said, to biology of the animal. Mm -hmm. You've got to understand right. the biology. Snook are a tropical species. Their center of abundance is somewhere around Costa Rica, Nicaragua, closer to the equator, just like barramundi in Australia, right? They all belong to the same family, Centromedia. And there with, is with a, Nile perch be thrown in there? Nile perch is the same. It's all a central pumpkin. Okay. That the genus is late yeah. this genus is central But the equator, you know, being close to the equator is key for the species, yeah. Because there is a lethal minimum temperature which they cannot withstand. And that number fluctuates generation to generation. It has been shown that a population of snook can acclimate to lower temperatures if they withstand the preceding freeze. In other words, if it gets to 52 and the guy lives, he may make it to 51 next year. But that magic number is 52 degrees center, uh, Fahrenheit. If the water gets much below 52 degrees, then they become moribund and will die. 